something, but I got shit to do. I just keep it in so you don't have a clue. I the love to you, so I tell the truth. Make it better, me, I make it better, you. You know what it is, right? It's real big queens in here. Real Queens dude, you know what I mean? New York City, I'm, I'm, I'm letting him introduce himself, hey, man. it's your boy Boss, man. It's always a Queens thing when we link up. Yes. Big Queens. Big Queens, you heard the, you heard the slogan, right? Not Little Queens, Big Queens. We got that album out right now. Milky you know, Way. Milky we'll Way. That. Dreamville, Interscope. Yes, man. Get that, get get all those records. He's up next, we are gonna talk about all the festivals too. Holla back, you. You know what it is, VIP Saturday, Superstar J got something special in here, man. I, I, I had to, Tell them that we we got like mutual friends and everything. Yeah, it's you big know, queens. queens thing. You know what I mean? Big queens. Sure. Yeah, man. That's the ride dollar, man. Get your Nike ride dollars. Do you hear that? Get some Nike Christmas ride dollars. For the summer, man. <laughs> we got Boz in the building. What's up? Chilling, brother. How you? Man, you know, I, you know, it's always a good thing when when I see people come right back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I think we had like good three interviews together and everything. Right. I'm still here. You still here? Right. So everything's going. Everything's going good. I see you on tour and everything. Yeah, yeah. I was. I just got off uh, this little festival run in Europe. Um, you know. Just, just in time to put this album out. Festivals, man. It. Jesus, man. These festivals, man. I know you. Uh, do you like? Do you love? Do you love the festivals? I do, man. I, I enjoy the energy. And you know, I, especially out in Europe, cause like one of them was like a, they got themes out there. It's like a wonderland. Like one of them was like a safari. They had like giraffes running around. Wow. Uh, I ain't even, I never even seen a giraffe before. Yeah, <laughs> definitely not at a show. Um, it's cool. They they get they get real creative with it out there. Did you did, did you did they did you walk in the um, venue with giraffes next to you on some coming to America shit? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Nah, it was it was pretty much. It's like a. Uh, it's like a safari, but they they like moved all the animals to like one side so you could like see them. Mm -hmm. And it, like I had to take a boat across like some water to get to the stage. Wow, yeah, it, was, it was wild. That 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 was that one of your first experiences doing that. Um, I mean I, I played plenty of festivals, but yeah, the European ones are, are different. You know, like out here it's more or less you know you're like in like a big park or mm -hmm. somewhere in the desert or something along those lines. Out there they they go hard to like really build. Like a world, you they know get they mean? get real creative with it. Yeah, it must be the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> the so so festivals is heavy, you know. Uh, it's the peace pipes out there, you yeah. know. It's just love, like yeah, yeah, for sure. It's good vibes, good energy, good vibes. Now w let's talk about this album, you know. And I I always have to give you props because I feel like you're you're like the 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 definition of a fan base. Yeah. A lot of a lot of these artists, and we talked about that before. Um, the last interview was like, you was like, I really don't care about the commercial hits as long as my fans love my music. Right. Now, right. how important is that? The, the it's it's crucial, man, because you know, like I, I look at it now, and like you know, I've been I've been touring and and uh, you know making making a living for like at least five six years now, and you know I got the kind of fan base where I think I got to I, a, I haven't peaked, and B, I have like at least a decade you know of touring I mean? yeah. and, and experience. Right, exactly. So it's like um, you know, you that's you can't get that off off the overnight. You know what I mean? You really gotta build that base. You gotta you gotta be you gotta tour. They, they gotta see you. They gotta connect to your music on a level that's you know um, bigger than the stunts, man. They gotta connect with it mm. on, on 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 the honesty, on the truths, and 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 feel like they really know you and. And you know them, you know. Then, then you got something special. Man, let's talk about this album now. It, this this seems like this is your second album, right? Or, right. Wow. More, more or less, yeah. More or less, and then other was, was a bunch of work you just put in. Right. Put in that. Put in that. You got to put in that work. Yeah, you know what I mean. That extra hundred to two hundred songs work. You know what I mean. Right. That catalog work. You know, you gotta you gotta build. You gotta build a base, and more more importantly, you gotta work on your craft. Mm hmm. You know, and, and explain that like to these you know these up and coming rappers about working on your craft. I mean, you know, you, it's it's that ten thousand hour theory. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's it's the the more you work at something, the more you're gonna understand it. The the more the, the parameters open up, and you know how to really manipulate it and and get your point across, get your get your your music across sonically, get your message across. 
Um, you know, the, a lot of my earlier stuff now, like I'll cringe when I hear it. Like, oh man, you know, what yeah, I, mean? I do that for interviews. When I, I don't like, like I, I look at interviews and I might be like, I don't look at them again because sometimes I'm like, what the fuck yeah, was I yeah. just saying? <laughs> like, so what music you you sometimes cringe? Yeah, of course. You know, it's 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 amateur, but it's it's what it was supposed to be. It's it's a learning process. Mm -hmm. It's artist development. You know, that's that's, that's kind of rare nowadays because you know, uh, you can just go viral. And you're there. And you're there, yeah. And, and you might not be ready for all that attention, but, you know, you got it either way. So, you know, I, I think it, it's a blessing, really, to be able to, to just develop my pen, my craft, you know. Um, Tell them the pen, man. A lot, of, a lot of these young cats are getting this cliche, you know, that especially ones that can just go in the booth and, you know, put their, their you know, their images and their, and their songs together without writing. And it, the, the average young person... They're like, yeah, I don't write. You know what I mean? I just yeah, it's like a, it's like this weird badge of honor now, right? It's like, yeah, yeah, I don't write. It's like it's not, you know, it's not impressive. Like, I can tell you don't write. Yeah, it, it definitely because it's like, uh, uh, it, you know, it's a couple of people that 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 are special with it. Right. But sometimes when I I know you didn't write when I know what's gonna come next. The next right, word, right, you're right. like, all right, yeah, I'm in the hat. You know what I mean? So we in the back. I'm like. <laughs> So yeah, that's what you call, yeah. you know, the badge of you not writing and right, everything. Right. How's it important for you to use your pen to strengthen it? Um, you know, I, I think the most important thing is you, you, you did and able to say a lot in a few words, you know? Mm -hmm. You're able to say, you know, just 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 shit that's poignant, that really, like, touches people. Yes. You know what I mean? And that's, that's the most important thing that goes back to, like, building that fan base. It's you got to say things that connect, you know, not just things that are, you know, yeah, we're all having fun out here. Mm -hmm. um, but people turn to music to, to for healing purposes a lot of times. They yes. Wanna, uh, they want to hear somebody that's going through the same things they're going through, you know, uh, heartbreak or losing a loved one or, you know. Uh, definitely a clear dialect of things. Yeah. I, I feel when, 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 when it's kind of cloudy is when people are just putting words together real quick. It's a good beat and I'm going to say this and I'm going to say that. Right. And don't get me wrong, I'm, you know, when I'm, when I when I'm turning up or getting ready for the turn, I'm listening to all the same all yes. the same stuff, and I'm I'm a fan too. Like you know, I think there's there's still like uh, something genius in in how unconscious some of it is, you know, because it's like it's almost not aware of it. You know what I mean? It's not self aware, yeah. which is cool in music. Um, but you know, everybody got their own style. Everybody carves out their own lane. This this just happens to be mine. Yeah, well, it happens to be yours. And let's talk about the album. Yeah, Milky uh, Way. Milky Way. It's out now, Dreamville Interscope. Shout out to Interscope, man. Shout you know, Interscope. you know, shout out to Gio in the background. You know, never no pressure and stuff. Gio Yo. trying to stay out the shot. <laughs> <laughs> he, I think he'd be wanting to be in the shot because he's always in like somewhere directly where he's like, I'm not trying oh, to be in the get shot. Out the shot. Yeah, yeah. There's been a couple of interviews that you've been he's right photo bombing. He's yeah. photo bombing. Don't let him fool you. <laughs> but uh, you know, being such a big label as Interscope, uh, it seems like they don't pressure you about. Um, you know your music or your projects you it's actually you just put them out you know i don't see them like saying yo boss we need that big single right you know what i mean and they, they're really satisfied of what you put out yeah no it's 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 great to have that artistic freedom you know and i think a lot of that also obviously comes from from dreamville and and the way colin e kind of established you know the brand we were going to be mm -hmm. which is you know let's put out quality projects let's, let's go out on the road let's build these real fan bases, yeah, and you know it, it might be a a slower grind, but you know you'll be there. You have longevity, you know yeah. what I mean. And 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 when it peaks, you're gonna boom. You know, like anybody else. Uh -huh. It's just it's just um, you know we we have we're just sticking to to really what we do and what we represent, and you know what what we mean to these kids that listen to us. You know, at the end of the day, uh, they'll be the first to know. When we, you know, when we reach, yeah, you know what I mean. They'll be the first to know. That's smart. I, I, I hope they don't turn away. Like, yo, boss, with commercial on me and yeah, shit and all yeah, that. Yeah. You know what I mean? You right, know how right. to, you know how the loyal fans are. Like, this ain't the same boss that I know. This right. is commercial boss. You right, like, right. I just made records. Yeah, that's it. I'm like, I don't think, I don't think of, of one or the other. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm just trying to be as creative as I can and and try to be different than my last time out. Well, uh, let's get into a record off of Milky Way. You, 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 you yeah, introduce a record. Let's do that. Um, any record? Yeah, any record. I like, you know, I like the, I like the, the you know, I'm, I'm back to '90s when the B, you had the A and the B, yeah, always the B I side. I like that. I you like that, man. You know what? Let's do a fragrance. 
featuring my dog Corey C from South Central LA. Free Corey C. Shout out to the committee. Okay, let's get it. Man, this chick won't leave me long, leave me long, yeah. I try to put her on my bro, on my bro, yeah. But she still came back, came back, yeah. Damn, she still came back, came back. We, no, I we get excited over the music more than anything. Mm -hmm. You know, like that that's the kind of collective we have. Like it's it's business, yeah, but like we get excited over like, oh like this is this is really dope. Like we're on to something here. Mm -hmm. Um and if we do that, like like you know, it, it might be a, a a small step forward, it might be a big step forward. Yeah. You know, as far as your commercial viability, you know, but um it's always just been about, yo, let's make the best album we can make mm -hmm. and let's hit the road. Best album. Now, I, I always say that, you know, do you feel that Dreamville is like an underrated label? Because yeah, it seems like, you know, y'all got some gunners yeah, on there. Yeah, some killers. <laughs> some killers. Yeah, no, I I think, you know, obviously our, our, our fan base doesn't feel that way, you know, but like, yeah, I think 100%. Because it's sometimes you like, man, like, you know, especially, you know, uh, a lot of people don't talk about J. Cole, the CEO, uh, running a record label where it's over three the four successful artists. Right. Boz is on his second album. Right. You know what I mean? Right. On a major label, not right. independent and everything. Boz is on his like 15th festival, 100th festival, right. you know what I mean? You've been on tour around the world like eight. I know your passport is right. crazy. Yeah, yeah. I'm on like my second and a half. <laughs> second, and a half. second and a half? Second and a half, yeah. And sometimes that's you know the same guard, right? Like, uh, hey, I know him. You yeah. Know what I mean? Now, yeah. What, what, what's your favorite country that you love to, um, you know, perform in? Um, Man, the UK, London. I London, love man. Doing everybody, shows in London. Everybody loves love London. I love doing shows. Shout out to London, man. <laughs> Why? Is it uh, the appreciation of the music? Yeah. First of all, I think that they have a great ear. That's one thing I noticed out there. They have like a really good ear and appreciation for music. Mm -hmm. um, and then their energy, you know, maybe because out here, like, there's a million tours that come into town every week. Yeah. You know, we tend to be a little more jaded. It's, you know, especially like in New York, you be in the, you be in the. You from New York, so you know yeah. how it is, motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they, they, they don't want to move yeah. or nothing. You know, rapping word for word with you, but like not moving up. Yeah. And, and, and some people, you know, just which is that's the kind of way we're conditioned. Like I'm not, I'm not gonna ride nobody dick. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. got that New York shit in too. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I love your shit, but you're not gonna know. Um, it ain't like that when you when you get into the UK and, and, and Europe, but like London in particular, I got a really strong fan base there. And every time I do a show there, I'm just blown away. Wow, is it? What was a crazy uh, experience as far as fan wise, or you know what I mean? That you was like, what the fuck? Man, to me, it's still the craziest. Is like you know when somebody's got like my logo tattooed on them, or like my my bars tattooed on them. Wow. Um, it's like man, that's you know, that's, that's permanent. Like, <laughs> it's on your body. Uh, You'll be 50 years old with my, you know, my name or my, you yeah, know. Yeah, it's, it's humbling. It's, it's, it's humbling because then, you know, it's, it's like you said, it just tells you how much uh, my words and my songs mean to them. That they, they feel compelled to go and, and tattoo it on themselves. So that always blows me away. That never gets old. I'm just like, damn, really? Like, Boss, hey, man, look, look, look. you like... Oh shit! Is that is that Mark? No, yeah, no, that, that's yeah, real, that right real. there. Oh wow! Yeah, so that that always blows me away, man. And, and, and I, I de it definitely gives you like the energy to just come out and, and put these projects out because it seems like you, you put out a project damn near every year now, boss. You know man. what I mean? Like last year, I just seen you. You know what I mean? You had a project yeah. out now this year. Yeah, no, I mean it. It gives you that confidence. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like being a, being an artist nowadays, there's so many external factors that could weigh on like on 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 your conscience you know what i mean it's, it's kind of toxic like there's just so much going on yeah. there's so many like outside pressures um but then so you forget about those things you know you forget about the fans that's out there like yeah that's ride or die for you all you know you just think about damn like you know you start to doubt yourself in certain ways um but that that's the stuff that grounds you that's the stuff that brings it all back around like oh now nah, I'm like I'm bugging I've been good you mm -hmm. know what I mean like they, they've been riding with me they, they still riding with me um those and, are the those are the fans man that I know a lot of um you know and even what you're saying you know what I mean uh, just about you know just going viral so quick and then you know it's come sometimes a gift and a curse 
because you know it, it's so much expectation expectations for you to right. put this music out and then like next year it's like almost waiting to hate at that point yeah you know yeah. And next year you walking on the ave and nobody's even saying nothing to you you know right. what i mean right. <laughs> it is, you it see is, it happen all the time yes it happens all the time before you leave um do uh the j cole feature how many features do we have on this um album? um uh j cole ari lennox who's a singer on dreamville super dope okay it's one of the best voices honestly i've ever heard um corey c's on there twice um asap ferg and lion babe mo mox um they're on the last record with me wow yeah you, you kept you kept it you kept it home team yeah I, I, all of mine are pretty much home team and it's like you know even ferg i, I knew ferg for years before we did the record i like to build you know, like a rapport with whoever I'm working with. It definitely, when it's, it's, I know it's, it's, it's a happier time when you see people from the states and y'all bumping in each other in these festivals or in these yeah, countries, and yeah, yeah. It, it becomes a bond out there too. Right, right, yeah. You know, Ferg pulled up on our tour in Australia um, last year. We hit the studio and he was playing me a bunch of records, and then you know, I sent him Boca, and you know, he did it in like a day. Wow. Well, well, before you leave, let's get into Tribe. Yeah. And and then we'll get into Boca. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's get it, man.